Okay, so in this video, um, I'm going to go through the correct way to scientifically report a measurement in Rita's scale. So this may seem like an eyeful at first, but it's pretty important. I mean, anytime you're, you know, measuring weight, measuring length, measuring volume, you know, whatever instrument you happen to be using, there's always going to be uh, what we call an uncertainty associated with that scale. And the first step of reporting the measurement is to determine the scale's uncertainty. And the way that we do that is that we find the distance between two sequential marks divided by 10 and expressed as plus or minus. Sounds like a lot of steps at first, but it's really not that hard once you get the hang of it. The next step is to determine your certain digits, the digits that you know are correct beyond a doubt. That's a pretty easy step. Now the next step is a little more difficult depending on how close your marks are together, and you'll see what I mean later. But you're going to estimate the last digit in terms of tenths. So if you have the distance between two sequential marks, you're going to think of it in terms of tenths. Okay, well, is my value, you know, six tenths of the way there, five tenths of the way there, seven tenths? You know, you wouldn't you wouldn't say like three quarters of the way there because that doesn't fall in terms of tenths. So, just another thing that, you know, is much easier in practice. It's kind of hard to explain it like this, but, uh, you know, a lot of people learn by doing a lot better than they learn by reading. So, we'll definitely do a little bit of both. And lastly, you're going to put it all together. And once you put it all together, be sure to include your uncertainty and your units. It can't be correct if you don't know what it is. So always stick those units in there as painstaking as it might be. So I'm going to start by going over an example. Okay, what we have here is some sort of ruler. And I've indicated over here that it's a centimeter, centimeter ruler. And you see 7 centimeters over here, 8 centimeters over here. Uh, by the way, these aren't really centimeters. This is just, uh, I enlarged it so that, you know, you can see it better. Those aren't actually, this isn't a scale. So let's look at this, where this blue arrow up here is pointing to. That's the point that we're going to study. So the first step, it says, is to find the distance between two sequential marks. Well, we know the distance between these two is one centimeter. Eight minus seven is one. And if you look at here, there's actually 10 marks that separate these two values. So we can conclude that the distance between two sequential marks is going to be one-tenth of the distance between these two, one-tenth of that, which would be 0 0.1 centimeters. So next it says, after you find the distance between the two sequential marks, you're going to divide that, divide that by 10, which ends up being 0 0.01 centimeters. And then what you're going to do, finally, uh, for this step, is express that value in terms of plus or minus. So it's going to be plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeters. And that is my uncertainty. Okay, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? The next step is even easier. Two, let's determine our certain digits. Whoops, kind of going off the page here, but okay. Determining our certain digits. Well, we know that that seven is, un is definitely certain. And if we count the marks, it looks like we know this value up to 7.6. So we know that that six is also going to be a certain digit. So, so far, what do we have? 7.6. 7 Those two are certain. But what we don't know, what we're uncertain about, is what's in between here. So, in other words, what I like to do is say 7.6 something. And we're going to find out what. So, the next step 
is to estimate the number of tenths between these two marks, which I'm not going to lie, this gets pretty hard whenever you, um, you know, whenever your uh, whenever your marks are very very small and close together like that. And this one, it's pretty tough. I probably should have drawn it a little bigger, but anyway, you're going to apply the rule in terms of tenths. So a good way to start is to look at the halfway point and say, okay, well, is it more than halfway? Is it less than halfway? Is it exactly halfway? Right here, it looks like it's less than halfway, but not by much. Now, if it's a third of the way there, then we'll give it a three, but it looks a little over a third of the way there. So if it's over a third of the way there and not quite halfway there, then that's going to end up being four. We're going to use that number. It's the best number to use. Again, we don't know it. It's uncertain, but it's okay because we're estimating it. See, this method of reporting these measurements accounts for the fact that you may be wrong here. So with that in mind, we're going to multiply 4 times our uncertainty, 4 times 0 0.01 centimeters, and that gives us 0 0.04. Centimeters. One last step. Add it all together. So from step two, we know that our certain digits are 7.6. And if we add 0 0.04 to that, that's going to give us 7.64. But again, we're not done because we have to stick back in our uncertainty. And our uncertainty is plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeters. So this whole value, this whole thing, every part of that tells you something. This is the correct way to report this measurement. 7.64 plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeters. And it looks like I'm not really going to have time to go through the next example, um, so I'll just end this one for now. But look for a part two coming out pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to do one with a graduated cylinder and the uh, significant digits and stuff like that is going to be different. So, all right, stay tuned.